This is a public hearing by the Zoning Board of Appeals Town of Granby. Representing the board are Wayne Chapel, Bob Lindeyer, Steve Muller, Suzanne Yuha, Tom Caputi. Will Secretary Bob Lindeyer please read the legal notice of the meeting? The Town of Granby legal notice, Granby Zoning Board of Appeals. There will be a public hearing conducted by the Zoning Board of Appeals on Tuesday, June 16th, 2020 at 7 p.m. in Granby Town Hall Meeting Room, 15 North Granby Road to hear the following items. Appeal by Greg and Cindy Teclaw seeking side slash rear yard variance of section 8.1.6 of the zoning regulations to allow construction of a pool for property located at 1 Candlewood Lane, file Z06-20-01. At the hearing, interested persons may appear and written communication will be received. A copy of the appeal is on file in the office of the Director of Community Development, Granby Town Hall. To the Hartford Current, please publish in the following dates, June 5 and June 12, 2020, in the Connecticut section, Zone 5. All right, you have the minutes of the last meeting. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, I'd like a motion. All in favor to approve the minutes. I. Uh, is there a I, motion? I make a motion to accept the minutes as uh, received. Is that Tom? Yes, Tom. I'll second. Bob. Bob is second? Yep. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Five. And any abstentions? No uh, nays. Let's see so a way minutes are passed. Okay. <clears throat> Here's how we operate. We hear the appeals in the order of the legal notice. You as the applicant explain the application of the board, introducing any exhibits you feel will help us make a fair decision. Speakers can speak on behalf. Speakers can speak in opposition. The applicant may rebut the opposition. We as board members will of course ask questions. Speakers will please give their name and address before speaking. When we reach the, a decision, you will be notified by certified mail, usually within 10 days. Granting of a variance or appeal requires a yes vote of four members. If we grant your variance, be sure to record it with the town clerk within 90 days. So our, we have one application. Wait. The applicant will please state name and address. Wayne, can I just make a quick yes. um, um, notice that on the legal notice, it says that we're in the Granby Town Hall, but it should be noted that we're doing it via Zoom. Oh, yes. All right, we'll make a correction to the agenda. Do we have a motion, Bob? Yeah, that was it. Okay. And do we have a second? Tom second. seconds. Sue is second. Any sure. problems with that? All nope. in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, all in, uh, the agenda is corrected then. Thank you, Bob. Yep. Good point. All right, would we have our first applicant and only applicant? Hi, Greg Teclaw, one Candlewood Lane. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yep. Uh, first, thanks for hearing my request tonight. Um, we are, uh, my wife and I and family are looking to um, put in a 15 foot round above ground pool in the rear of our property. And uh, due to the very irregular shaped lot that we have, um, it would be currently uh, violating the 25 foot variance rule, uh, which is why I've applied for, um, I guess, uh, a reprieve from that variance ruling. Um, I had provided a few different items that I assume you have uh, with each of you. Um, one is a, a, a plot program, a plot that I had gotten from the town of Granby, um, in which I 
uh, drew on there where the uh, pool would go. Um, second, I have my own drawing, which basically is a replica of that, uh, but also just showing that. And then third is a is a document I originally got from the Farmington Valley Health District, I believe. Um, and it just shows the placement of septic tanks and leach fields and so on and so forth. And I used that um, when I had filed an application with Kristen Kula at the Farmington Health District. Um, I, I, I did that first to make sure she was comfortable with, with the location of the pool in relation to the distance to the septic tanks. And she, she approved that. And I think she said she sent it over to you guys. So, um, after receiving approval from that, which was about, I don't know, a month or so ago, um, is when I filed for the application for the, the variance um, reprieval from the town of Granby. Now you need a variance from the rear property only? Yeah, it's the rear property only, which is 112 Notch Road. Um, okay. my, my side neighbor to the east, which is three Candlewood Lane, um, there's plenty of distance there. Um, so it's really just the, um, the neighborhood to the south, the neighbor to the south and somewhat to the west. <clears throat> did you have any okay. discussion with that person? Just curious. Yeah, I did. I, I let him know, uh, what we were planning on doing and, and that we filed and, and he acknowledged getting the, the notice from the town and, and um, he didn't have any issue with it. He was, he told me he was fine with it. Now, is there anything to do with a deck with this pool? Um, nothing other than we plan on putting it very close to the deck. And um, ultimately what I would like to do is, is, is um, basically close that gap between the deck and the pool so that that would be one of the points of entry into the pool. Um, but until the pool folks are here and they can tell me, you know, how close they can get it to the deck, you know, but that's, that's the plan. It's, 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 um, it's currently drawn to where it's going to be about two foot from the deck already. So um, the plan is to, uh, put a small extension on the deck to be able to enter enter the pool. And that would all be in the confines of the rear lot, right? What's that? That would be all within the confines of, of the rear lot of the buildings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you not, oh, yeah. You're not asking for a variance for any future deck or anything else like that. No. This, if you check the records, this, the deck I already have, uh, I built this in 2007 and I had to apply for a variance with that deck because um, if you look at the uh, plot it. plan, it's a, it's a very shallow backyard. Yeah. Um, so there was a variance already with that deck. Yeah. But, okay. but this, this little extension between the deck and the pool would not, would not um, infringe upon the variance any further than it already is, if that makes sense. Okay, so you need there, 13 feet for the pool, right? Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Suzanne, you had a question. Yeah, no, I was just. I think I was clarifying. So you're not really adding additional <clears throat> depth, adding to the existing depth. So you're not going to have a another deck built just for this pool, correct? No, this. Um, this is not going to be a freestanding deck that, you know, some people might build around. This would be, this pool is going to go right next to our existing deck. And I, I'm just talking about like a two foot kind of connector to get, to, to be able to okay. jump in. The pool. Yep. Okay. Now, what is the hardship? Why you have to put the, uh, pool where, you're showing it has to be. Yeah, so we looked at every, 
every option for the property. And this is really the only location that this pool could go, or any pool could go. Um, the east yard is, is way too shallow, um, which is the yard closest to three Candlewood Lane. Um, the property does extend considerably far to the south, um, but it is, it's, a relative, it's a relatively shallow uh, depth. I mean, it goes far back, but it, and it, and it, and it, it kind of surrounds 112 Notch Road residence. Um, but the, the leach fields from the septic tank extend way back into that area. Um, and, and there would have been a variance back there as well. Plus there's a lot of trees back there. So this is literally the only spot this, this pool could go. It is a strange- How about your water supply? You have a well yeah the, the well is in the front yard okay so that takes care of that yep so that was one good thing yeah and the septic tanks um the, this pool is going to be basically between the deck and the septic tanks um otherwise the pool could have been a little bit further um to the um to the east which would have avoided the variance but um it, it, it was inhibited by the septic tanks okay so this is the only location you really have it, it really is okay it really is okay we have other questions out there from the board I'm here. My only comment would be if it's 112 notch for 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 Ziotti, it's really the only one impacted. If they're on board, that would seem to be cover the only person who really would have anything of concern. Mm -hmm. I kind of agree with that. So we have no yeah, letters totally. that I know of. We have no adverse input from any neighbor. So. I Any other questions, it. folks? No. No. No, not really. No, Tom, no, no other questions. Time to make a motion. Steve, well, let me before we do that, uh, <clears throat> Greg, do you have anything else to submit or discuss as to what it appears that um, you've documented everything? You, you came back with a separate drawing. Uh, about a week ago. Yep. So you have nothing else to submit, is that correct? Nothing at this time, unless it was required. Um, you know, the letter specifically mentions a, a survey of the land. Um, um, and I would only do that if it was subject, you know, to the approval. So, I mean, mm -hmm. um, hey, I think your house is a corner is your house a corner lot it is the corner lot yeah right okay so that's virtually identical to our last meeting i think yeah, yeah we had a, close. a crazy yeah. yeah very close yeah yeah very close and different it end like, of town but same issue and it looks uh -oh. like on the uh you know if you're c contemplating on the east side it's all trees and woods and you know he wants to right save all of that, which I think right. is commendable. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Anybody have any issues, questions, concerns? Is this uh, the time to ask? Yeah, I don't have anything. Nope. Okay. Everybody okay? Yep. So yes. I think uh, 722. I'll close the uh, public hearing. And Greg, you can stay and listen, but you unfortunately cannot participate. So um, unless you have anything else to say, this is the time to do it. And we'll make a decision in a few minutes, I would assume. Okay. Uh, well, okay. I, I mean, I, 
you, am I allowed to stay for the decision or are you saying? Oh, yes. Yeah, most assuredly. Okay. Yeah, you can listen, but you have to zip it up. Pardon okay. me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I, I guess I would just have yeah. a couple of questions then if I, if I could. You mentioned okay. earlier that um, the decision would be provided to me in writing within 10 days. Is that what you said? Well, <clears throat> let's put it this way. We aim for that. Um, what's happened with uh, staffing at the town hall, it's a little more than that, but that's what we aim for. Okay. Um, but if I hear a verbal approval tonight, I assume I can proceed with my plans, um, knowing that the um, will be coming at some point? Exactly. If, if we vote to approve, then I would say you're well within your rights to start collecting things and engaging contractors or whatever. You can probably do okay. site work and stuff like that, but I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The, the uh, final installation, I think, would have to wait. Yeah. Yeah. Have to, yeah. They're a little backed up right now anyway, so that, that's fine. Right. Uh, well, it's then, kind of typical of everything right now. Yeah. So. And then okay. did I hear something else about 90 days or something? Was there, was there another date? Um, once we grant it and we send you that notice, you have to register that at the town clerk's office within 90 days. Because if you don't register it with the town clerk, once you get the approval, unfortunately, you'd have to apply all over again. Yeah, it becomes null and void if you don't register. Right. And, and what, what, is, what does register mean? Whatever the town clerk tells you, you have to do so it gets placed on your deed. You bring your notice uh, of approval in and that gets uh, added to the deed for your house. Okay. So this... When we grant this, if, assuming we do, this goes in perpetuity to anybody 100 years from now who might buy your house. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay. And if there's any contingencies on this approval, like if I had to submit any other paperwork or something, it, I would probably find out in a few minutes as well as it would be documented in that letter, right? Correct. Okay. You would definitely find out in a few minutes if okay. we had a condition. Okay. I'm right now, I, I can honestly say I don't see a condition being placed on it. So, I'm not speaking for the board, I'm just saying that, uh, again, it's a very similar application to what we just had. So, okay. I think that's all my questions. Thank you. All right. Anything else from the board uh, before we? officially discuss not for me not for me okay all right hearing nothing uh definitely close the public hearing and i don't know does anybody have any issues with this application i i do not i do I, not i don't either it's a crazy no. plot you know there's no matter where yeah. you this thing is going to be in violation of something it seems Exactly. And, yeah. Um, the it's fact just, that Dad uh, took the onus to speak to the neighbors is commendable and makes it a whole lot easier for me. Exactly. So, all right. Not having any issues. Uh, does anybody feel like making a motion? I think Tom's up. <laughs> Tom, sure. I'll make the motion. And we accept as proposed. The right, application. So Tom, you're going to make a motion. The tech law to uh, seeking the side yard, rear yard variants that we approve. We, we have to say we put the stipulation like no closer than 13 feet to the property line. Yes, as presented. Yes, okay. Do we want to list the hardships? You know, yeah, you have to list the hardships. Huh? Okay. Let's see, let's go back to the hardships. We usually look location of the septic system, leach field, well, well, and trees, and topographical trees. issues. And unusual lot shape is the big one here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
And also the preservation of trees. Yeah. So we accept the uh, 11 foot variance is needed to put the pool to be located 14 feet from the side yard property line. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Okay. Yep. Is that side or rear? That would be the rear. Excuse me. That's which road you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, do we have a second on that motion? Sure, I'll second. second. Oh, well, sorry, Bob. Sure. <laughs> Bob or Sue? Sue can take it. Sue, yep. Yeah. All right, Sue second. Any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, motion granted. And no other business for the ZBA to have a motion to adjourn. I so made. All right, Bob. Second? I second. Yep. Okay, Tom, that sounded like you. No, Steve. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All in Aye. favor. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. No abstentions. Thank you very much, and hopefully our next meeting will be live and in person at the town hall. In God, I hope so. I can see everybody. <laughs>